Hi, I'm Eliza Jane Schneider, self-appointed traveling cultural therapist. Right out of college, I bought a used ambulance and I went across America 10 times recording people's dialects on a Datman. Why dialects? Well, my mother is born of Holocaust survivors. You think you have problems? You should try showering with guests. And my father converted to Judaism to marry my mother, but his side of the family comes from German Nazis. Oh yeah, we're finally getting rid of all the Jews, yeah? So, with the Germans on the one side and the Jews on the other, every now and then I wake up in the middle of the night screaming, Kite! Nazi! And then I go back to sleep. But I had a typical American childhood. I grew up on a Chippewa reservation in northern Minnesota where my mother was an attorney and she made her living suing the federal government on behalf of the Ojibwe tribe. Then she found out the tribal government was extorting taxes from her own people and she was fired. But before that, every day, my sociopathic adopted Vietnamese brother, Yo Bin Jacob Schneider, would pick me up from Chippewa daycare, we'd step over the drunken Indians on the sidewalk, and he'd teach me all the songs he learned at Jewish center camp that day. His heavily accented recitations were an odd mixture of Vietnamese, tribal Ojibwe, and Yiddish. Then we'd play war games. Now, our war games were slightly more realistic than the war games other three to eight-year-olds were playing because my brother had lived in a real war. I would say something like, Bing, bing, Mr. Bagman. I am a minigun zunja! You are yellow go pink mouth! <laughs> I think that's when I fell in love with dialects right there with my arm twisted behind my back and my face planted in the floor. 20 years later, I found myself in the same position protesting Daddy Bush's Gulf War and a cop broke my right wrist. I couldn't write for the remainder of my freshman year of college, so I carried around a tape recorder. I recorded my friends, my professors, my Japanese roommates, fundamentalist boyfriends, manipulative phone messages. Tatsumi Chikagami, you are promiscuous, eh? Um, it means you're a good student. Say it again. I fell in love with my microphone. It transforms ordinary humans into raving lunatics. I chase them across campus with it. Hey, where are you going? I'm late for class. Hey, how do you like that class? I don't like it. Hey, what do you think of America? I feel sorry for you. America is country and intellectually bankrupt. You don't have your own food, you don't have your own language, you don't have your own country, you have nothing. Wow, what a terrific dialect. <laughs>